Hello everyone, this is Ramos and welcome back to my network, Red Dead Redemption for the PlayStation 3. We're continuing on on our story. Why the hell did I get spawned here? Uh, I can't mess with you girls, my <laughs> My people will get mad at me. I better just run. <laughs> she watches my videos. Love you, honey. Alright, where are we? We're in Blackwater? Where do we gotta go? Where do we have to go? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I gotta go to Uncle. Why did I not spawn here? Holy shit. Alright. Either way, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, guys. We made it. See what we got for old uncle a continual feast what are you looking at old man there's some mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up fair enough we're nearly out of money ranch is in turmoil we may not make it through the winter what could we possibly want with some good quality horses come on that tone of voice ain't so becoming on you Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? John, you're a dick. <laughs> but I am John. With Big John. Nothing yeah. goes wrong when you get a Big John like I do. Come on, follow me. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I remember the last episode. I got attacked by dogs, lost my horse, and I got attacked by a fucking cougar. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's work. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Gotcha. Deal now. There we go. That damn dog was getting on my nerves. Let's go. Which one do I, I see want? Him. Come on. Oh. oh boy, which one do I want? Uh, you got one more left in you? Don't let I go. Got you. Show it who's boss. There we go. Yeah. yeah. That's a it. Cowboy. I'll lean into you. That's it. Hey. Oh, no. I can't Jeez. say that. You got it now, John. Get nearly there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Because I'm John. I got a big John. Easy. I'm not that wrong. How do you do it? That's not breaking. That was. That's so more good. like it. Yeah. I got Stop this talking, one for you. All right. I'll Hobble take your lip, for Christ's sakes! Oh Might as well see if get us another one. Come on! Okay, now there. which one do I want? Ah. Uh, I wish I had a better scope than this one. Ow, damn it! Ah, shut up, old man. Come on! Come on. Slow it down! Hold it! There you go! Will you shut up? I'm trying to Come on. fucking get this Come. damn horse, man. Now. Back here. I still haven't really mastered the 
controls of it. That's it! Use your D, you woman! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Use my D. Come on! Do the guy! Go! Guess you haven't heard, man. I'm a dog with a big dog. Don't fall off! Whoa! Uh oh. Careful! That's a feisty one! I don't like him. Lean Come in on. for me! Calm down! We're fine. Relax. We're fine. We're fine. Stay fine, down! Man. Hold on! Lean in for me! Almost got a pass. Almost got it. Good! Whoa, there. Okay. Quiet, old man! I'll take care of her now. You'll never catch him on foot. Go! He's right there! Alright. What other one do I want? Go on, then! I want just a generic one. So I guess I'm for you. Come on! My knee. Okay, that's what he said. Relax now. I said use my knee. I'm like, I don't think I want to use my D at this very moment. It's appropriate time to use my dog, and there's times not to use my dog. This is not one. It's all right. Show it who's boss. Oh. Oh there. Careful. Yeah. a feisty one. Oh shit. Use your knee, hey, yo woman! Your friends now. There you go! I'll take care of her now. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Hey, yeah. back here. Let's go! Alright, let's head back home. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask me. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? You act like I never do anything. I do plenty. You're asleep half the day, and the other half you're so drunk you couldn't hit the ground with your hat in three throws. I've taught you a few things, John Marston. Like how to steal beer when the bartender's not looking, and piss without taking down your pants. All useful skills, partner. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at these here horses. Fine as cream gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pockets. Any money we make's going straight back into this ranch, not down your gullet. Oh, come on. I ain't working here. You ain't working at all. That's the problem, old man. What about today? And all them cattle I heard it. I'm always sucking hind kid around here. You got food in your belly, ain't you? A roof over your head? You're so tight. You get out of bed to turn over so as not to wear out the sheets. Don't push your luck. <laughs> A little bottle wouldn't hurt, though. Something to ease an old man's aches and pains. This is why they say you should never hide. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Not oh, a bad yeah. day's work. So what's gonna happen now? Put some money in there, slow it. Yeah! Oh, it's like Slow! Wait, 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 wait. My, my horses. Yeah! Uh, these are my horses. Horses! 
Where's my horses go? Oh, they're right here. Are they? Where are my horses? Ah! Oh, it's time gated, you son of a bitch. Oh man, where are my horses at, man? We have horses. I guess the game can spawn them. That's fine. Alright, let's take a quick nap and try to speed things up. There we go. Now we can start our mission. The last enemy that shall be destroyed. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! All right. You best get that gun ready, old man. Come on. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Where are we being attacked from? Who's attacking my ranch? Those look like soldiers. Yeah, these look like soldiers. Why are they attacking me? Y'all down. Get back down, buddy. Sit your ass back down. Go check on your family, boy. Thank you, old man. You're not so bad. Come on. You can't stay out here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna oh, let that take over. Government. It is the army. No, they got him. Uncle, are you alright? They better not shoot my boy. Damn it! I'm hit! Keep firing! Don't let him get too close! 
never take our home! the loose end. They're trying to kill me because I'm the loose end out of the gang. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby... <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my God! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Keep your eyes open. There's more coming down the hill. I see him. Get behind something. Don't waste time aiming. Just shoot. You'll hit something. Ah! Up wrong, ah! So it's me versus the entire army. I like my odds. You're covered! Now go! Go! Come on! Keep it up! Now! Quick! Run for it! Shit! You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend! Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Come on! We can do this! Go! Oh. My son! Now! Quick! Run for it! You said this was over! How did I miss from that man? Cover! Anyone still moving? Or am I done here? Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, they're trying to take my family, that's not gonna happen. Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here, go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get!
There was no way I was gonna be able to do that. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Oh, man. Oh, that shook me so hard. I'm speechless. What can you say about that? I, if I would have known that he was there, I would have aimed for him, but I didn't. Wow, guys, uh, I don't know what to say. John Carson died. And now, Abigail has passed away. And this must be Uncle. Yeah, Uncle. This must be... This must be their son, all grown up. So the story continues with the son? Oh, this is amazing! Oh, the story is so good! The process is new though, so the mother just must have recently passed away. Well, where am I supposed to go? Guys, I messaged my girlfriend, Boop Poopy, uh, about what to do next, and she told me where I need to go, so thankfully for her, our, con our story still continues, or else I would have actually considered like, alright, this is the end, guys. What the hell is that? Is that a beaver? Oh, that's a raccoon. Fuck you, raccoon. Just cuz. Alright, she told me that I need to go to Blackwater. There's this, um, question mark. Well done. That'll lead me to the next main story. Special thanks to my baby at Lefty Honey. Uh, he told me where I needed to go, where I was just too damn dumb to figure out myself. Come on! Luckily, Blackwater is not that far from here. Yeah, playing this Jack. All grown up, look at him. Yeah! Looks like we're already entering the black pants. Here we are. Yeah, this is the one she told me about. Right here. Never guessed. And I normally avoid these, but... Hello, sir. You work with the government? 
You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want the results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Alright, so now we know the location of the bastard. We shot John with the big John. So. Let's go and pay that guy a visit, shall we? Whenever I can bring up my damn map. Here we go. Alright, looks like he's here. It's gonna be quite the right. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, looks like we made it. Let's go visit our old friend and visit, shall we? Get our revenge. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. So he's not here. Now we gotta go and find out where he's hunting with his brother. Going to Mexico, boys. Yeah. I'll see you when I get there. <laughs> oh, easy. All right, guys, we're here. That's not him. Hey there, That's mister. brother. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Not as much anger as I have. Down, you stupid dogs! Fucking dogs. Anybody else? Last time you screwed me over. Come out! Come out! Yeah, I'm that serious about it. Yeah! Oh, it looks like oh, he's already here. Sweet. Oh, there he is. Let's go get a revenge. Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? 
Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. But I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father! Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him! I saw you! You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog! And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well! I ain't going nowhere, old man. Oh yeah, final showdown, let's get our revenge, shooting our, our father John with the big John. Oh motherfucker. Motherfucker! Revenge! Revenge! Say boys and girls, I finished with Red Dead Redemption. Guys, thank you so much for watching my shitty gameplay. I, I really appreciate, I appreciate you saw the whole gameplay and let's continue on with the DLC. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, later.